Today we're going to look at the um, the Bolt system and the M3 Plus and kind of talk through a little bit of kind of how it works and, and how it functions. Um, just the general overview. Um, so the, the Die M3 is actually a balanced spool valve, which means that it uses the solenoid to hold the bolt back and it uses a solenoid to push the bolt forward so air in here is going to push the bolt back air in this spot goes into these holes here and it pushes the bolt forward um what's different on the m3 plus um and some of these platforms in general is from the fuse bolts and things of the past um, is really the way that the air flows through um, so in the old fuse bolts, um, if you're familiar, you know, it was this huge bolt system, um, some kind of venturi holes here, bolt sail, all this fun stuff uh, going on. And this is pretty simple. So it's a small bolt. Um, comes out. And simple bolt sail bumper on the front um, and you see maybe how there's a milled indentation in the middle uh, and that's actually how the air flows through this bolt so once it reaches the firing point and it goes through that indentation air flows around through here and out the front of the bolt what's unique about this bolt system is that the pressure that's needing to fire the bolt holds this piece back. Once the bolt fires and lowers the pressure within uh, this bolt system, it actually pushes forward, seals off the air that's going through the bolt, um, and allows it to uh, shut the air off so that there's no air wasted. Um, so all your air is stored here, goes here to fire, boom moves forward, shuts it off. Um, while it looks sort of complex, it's really not. I mean, you've only got this kind of um, power tube section here that's moving back and forth. Uh, and then this one, this little bolt here that's moving back and forth. Um, so there's not a ton going on. Um, and really that makes it a, uh, a pretty reliable balanced spool. Um, usually, you know, in your balanced spools, that's one of the kind of main, I don't know, issues is that there's some complexity with them, some a lot of dynamic O-rings, things moving around, and things can break. Well, uh, this is a pretty reliable marker, just as long as, as with any really spool valve, you're, you're keeping it maintained. So, um, 30,000 foot view of this bolt system of this gun uh, we will continue to go through and kind of pinpoint maybe minor problems that you could have with it and then also how to repair those.